Okay, hear me out. A girl dies, and her best friend comes back to their hometown to mourn her death, but ends up looking into her odd circumstances that surround it and discovers supernatural shadows that are led by a god that has turned its back on the people of the island or behind it. What do you think? Why is it not in another world? I mean, does it really have to be? I think the story can take place in our world and do just fine. Is there a harem of girls following the main character around? I mean... Not really, I mean, there's girls that are falling around, but it's because they're all working together to fight off the shadows, does that count? Is there at least a lolly in this? Okay, yes, it does have a lolly fox god, but one of the great things about summertime rendering is that it wasn't scared to try something new and daring. It didn't bank off the fact of being an isekai to get guaranteed viewership. It didn't bank off of being an OP main character relying on power wish fulfillment to grab viewer attention. It didn't bank on the fact that the anime community is down bad and just put in a ton of fan service. Unlike me. So make sure if you like this video to like and subscribe so I can make more like this and not rely on fan service shows instead they just made a fantastic story which is unheard of like wow who would have thought it hooks you right off the bat with this an incredibly bold statement of a first episode i mean how could you not come back and see what happens the second episode after seeing a doppelganger of one of the three people who gets capped in the first episode and also one of them is actually the main character like holy cow <laughs> except no one can even see the first episode because it's locked behind Disney jail. And I know a lot of people are going to argue it doesn't affect it because so many people have Disney Plus. Well, yeah, but how many anime watchers have Disney Plus? I know a lot of people that have Disney Plus, but how many of us actually own it? Because we're already splitting our bills so many different ways. Crunchyroll, High Dive, and then other streaming services you may want. Netflix has a lot of anime, but how many anime does Disney Plus actually have? And we only have so much money to go around to all these different streaming services. So I don't think anyone's going to put money down just to watch one more anime on a different streaming service, which is a shame because this show is amazing and it, I know it's affecting its ratings because other creators are making videos about how no one's talking about this because it's locked behind Disney jail, which is a shame because I think if this show got better distribution, it could be a nominee for anime of the year this year. But that's just a travesty behind it. And if you don't believe me, just let me explain. Not only does it have a great bold statement with this first episode, but it continues to develop and unravel in just such a way that keeps you wanting to come back and see how the next episode's going to play out. Whether it's the main character getting gunned down, whether it's learning more about the death of his best friend, whether it's discovering more people are disappearing on the island, whether it's discovering the truth behind what's actually going on, whether it's discovering who's actually involved and knows what's happening on the island. And all of these things just allow this show to get a better grip on you so you're less likely to stop watching and you're going to return to watch more. That's partially because all these things are shocking, but relying solely off shock value can only get you so far, so there has to be more to this. And that other factor is, the show never reaches too far to make something shocking. And yes, I know it's about paranormal shadows killing people and a goddess trying to devour an island. That's besides the point. I understand that's unrealistic and that's never going to happen, but everything that does happen in the story happens within reason, making it so the audience doesn't become unimmersed in the story because things seem too far-fetched to happen. For example, the characters don't just figure everything out immediately or after one go at things for no reason. You watch as the party of people fighting against the shadows slowly learn what works what doesn't work, how they should plan their next attack, piecing together new information after every encounter with the shadows, like how real life people do real life things through trial and error. These are all great attributes that make summertime rendering a great story, but it's also a great show with its attention to detail and art and animation. And we all know despite having a good story, if your art and animation aren't good, you're going to lose some of the audience that you should have had because the community is shallow individuals that rely solely on looks sometimes. And if you don't believe me, just look at JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's a pretty common argument that because of how it looks and its odd art style, people don't want to read or watch this show despite it having such a claim to fame for being so good. It has great storytelling, it doesn't reveal too much to you at once, and it slowly drip feeds you the information you need to continue the story in such a simplistic and beautiful way. And the character writing and development is amazing as well. You get to see how different characters change opinions about different things throughout the entire show it's honestly just 
beautifully written in every aspect i hope that more people eventually do actually see or get into this show i mean it deserves a watch it at least deserves a chance it's so good and it's such a shame that such an amazing show has such a hindrance to it because even me being a big fan of this show it's out of sight out of mind on disney plus like even i forget that it's airing and then also now just remember like oh hey wait I haven't watched this in a while and I'll come back to like the three episodes I need to catch up on. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Summertime Rendering. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. And let me know what you think about all of this. What do you think about Disney grabbing up these anime like Summertime Rendering or Bleach next season? Like, how do you think that's going to go over? But I'll see you guys in the next one.